What's good, guys? This is Vahography. I'm Vahagen, your rock and roll photographer. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'll be reviewing the Seven Artisans 12mm T 2.9 Cinema Lens. Now, this is an APS-C lens, and I'll be using this with the Nikon Z50. This is a Z-mount lens. It's the first time I'm really taking this lens out and just trying some video with it. We'll even do some photography stills just for the fun of it. I know this is a cinema lens made for cinematographers, filmmakers. So we'll be uh, concentrating on more of video than anything else in this review. Here's a look at the lens and the Z50 body. You could see that it is a massive lens and it feels good. It's made well. It costs $319 US on b &H. The focus rings do feel smooth. It's probably the smoothest focus rings I felt on a third party system. The cap is metal and it comes on and off and it feels really good, constructed very well. Here's some first footage I shot with the Z50 and this lens as you could see right here. But let's take it out and about and let's see what this thing can do when recording video with the Z50. Now here's some key features regarding this lens right here. It's got an 89 millimeter front diameter, 270 degree focus barrel rotation, the T-stops T2.9 to T16 aperture, 9 blade iris. Let me show you some footage on an iPhone just to compare. Standing in the same spot, the iPhone 13 Pro wide lens and then standard lens. This 7 artisan lens is an APS-C 12 millimeter range, so equivalent to about 18 millimeters full frame. Couldn't really match it with the iPhone, but here's a side by side with the iPhone 13 Pro wide lens. Let me zoom into the footage here so you could tell the difference side by side. Now this lens and this camera is not stabilized. So you would need a good stabilized support. If you're doing filmmaking, you already have that. That's not an issue. Hand holding this lens, you will see some micro jitters in the footage. So it's good to have a nice steady gimbal. Where this lens really shines is not shots like this. I'm gonna show you some shots that I really enjoyed shooting with this lens and the Z50. It's actually shots really close up. It really is a special effect lens when you want that close up effect and you want that sharpness. I was really impressed by the, the rendering of the image. I think the image looks very solid here. Here is some footage. I am focusing in right on the cigarette with the smoke and I'm inches, maybe an inch away from the cigarette. These are the type of shots that this lens really excels in when you're doing filmmaking and you just want that really close up shot. Here's another shot at this bottle here, I'm slowing it down. This is shot at uh, 120 frames per second on a Z50 and I'm just slowing it down. It really excels with, like I said, subjects that are really close up and I really like the sharpness of this lens. You dial it in with that smooth focus ring. It really brings out the magic in your footage. Now here's an example. If you want to vlog with this lens, you really would need a gimbal. Like I said, the APS-C cameras Nikon offers right now, they're not stabilized. So you would need a support system. But focusing in, it's sharp. I like the solid image that this lens produces. Now on the Seven Artisans website, the description of this 12 millimeter says sharp, compact, and robust. And that it is. It is sharp, it is compact, and it's made very well. I'm maybe a foot away from this pigeon, and I was surprised I got that shot. But yeah, it is heavy. It's not a light lens. It's constructed, all metal body, and it really is made for that budget filmmaker that wants a really good lens but doesn't really want to break the bank. Now, some more details on this lens. The 270 degree focus throw allows you to make extremely accurate focus pulls. And the lens features Cine Standard 0.8 mod lens gears for focus and iris. Hey, these kids fishing. <laughs> I cut some action shots here. Here's the shot that I'm talking about. These kind of shots, special effect, close up shots. So what are you guys doing here? You guys are like... No, so well, he, he swallowed... swallowed the hook and he's trying to get it back. Oh, yeah, but that's the, what you're doing. This type of fish is a really good bait as well. We'll probably freeze him. Oh, all right. But there's the hook right there. Got it back. Hey guys, these guys have a YouTube channel, man. What's your YouTube channel called? Uh, Harbor Hunters YT. Uh, Har Harbor Hunters YT? Yeah, fishing channel here in Newport. Get other people into fishing. That's cool, man. So it's Harbor Hunters 
YT. Yes. You guys are uploading videos and stuff. New channel? Yeah, new new channel. Just started it. So you guys are into photography? No, just uh, fishing. Yeah, fishing, recording it. You guys have to get good with the photography too, because if you're a channel, you got to make videos. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah. Editing videos. And awesome. What cameras do you guys use? iPhones and what uh, else? GoPro uh, Hero Eight. I mean, I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank right, you. Thank you. Man, these were some cool kids. I really, really do wish them the best of luck. It's good to see that. So you could really dial in the look you're after. These kind of shots, these cinematic shots. Now we can use the Nikon Z system, APS-C, to do some filmmaking. Here is a perfect example of the rendering of this lens. It's sharp. I like the colors. I like what I see right here. Here's a comparison between an iPhone image and a real camera image so don't even get me started with iphone video yeah iphone video is great but once you start getting into low light action here's what you will see the cell phone camera is not there yet in my opinion the results speak for themselves right guys by the way the z50 shots were shot in 4k so is the iphone 4k this was a lot of fun guys met some cool kids in the dock here that want to get something done with youtube creative process so that's awesome. You know, I gave them some word of advice. They just started a channel and I wish them the best of luck. A fishing channel, you know? They're just getting started and I wish I was their age. <laughs> I gave them some photography tips, you know, you know how I am. So for filmmakers on a budget that want a ultra wide option, 12 millimeter APS-C, this lens is great. It weighs 21.2 ounces, about 602 grams. It's got a filter thread of 82 millimeters, nine diaphragm blades, Optical design is 12 elements in 10 groups. As promised, I'll leave you with some still images I took with this 12 millimeter 7 Artisans lens. Yeah, it is a cine lens, but I'm also a photographer. Enjoy guys, like and subscribe. Hey, what's good guys? Vahagan here from Vahography. If you like more photography, rock, and content like this one, go ahead and check out the videos on the screen and subscribe to this channel for more exclusive content.